Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to walk through a detailed, step-by-step -step solution to an electronic circuit problem. Our goal is to find the value of the voltage labeled V0, or V sub O, in the provided circuit diagram. This tutorial is designed for beginners, so we'll break down every concept and explain each calculation along the way. First, let's take a look at the components in our circuit. On the far left, we have an independent DC voltage source which provides a constant 12 volts to the circuit. Connected to this source is a 3-ohm resistor. The voltage we need to find, V0, is the voltage drop across this 3-ohm resistor. In the middle, we have an 8-ohm resistor connected vertically. To the right of that, there's a 6-ohm resistor. And finally, on the far right, we see a diamond-shaped symbol. This represents a dependent voltage source. Its voltage is 2 times V0. This means its value is directly controlled by the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor. To solve this circuit, we will use a technique called nodal analysis. The basic idea is to find the voltage at all the key connection points, which we call nodes, relative to a common reference point. First, we identify the nodes. There is a main node at the top where the 3 ohm, 8 ohm, and 6 ohm resistors all connect. There is also a node all along the bottom wire. We choose one of these nodes to be our reference node or ground. This node is defined as having a voltage of 0 volts. We will choose the bottom node as our ground. Now, we label the voltage at the other main node. We will call the top node V sub 1. So, V sub 1 represents the voltage at that point with respect to our 0 volt ground. The core of nodal analysis is applying Kirchhoff's current law, or KCL, at each unknown node. KCL states that the total current entering a node must equal the total current leaving that node. Let's focus on our node, V sub 1. We'll define three currents. I sub 1 is the current flowing from the 12 volt source, through the 3 ohm resistor, and into node V sub 1. I sub 2 is the current flowing out of node V sub 1, down through the 8 ohm resistor to ground. I sub 3 is the current flowing out of node V sub 1, to the right through the 6 ohm resistor. According to KCL, the current entering must equal the sum of the currents leaving. So, our KCL equation is I sub 1 equals I sub 2 plus I sub 3. Now, we need to express these currents using Ohm's law, which is current equals voltage divided by resistance. For I sub 1, the voltage difference across the 3 ohm resistor is 12 minus V sub 1. So, I sub 1 is equal to 12 minus V sub 1 divided by 3. For I sub 2, the voltage difference across the 8 ohm resistor is V sub 1 minus 0, which is just V sub 1. So, I sub 2 is equal to V sub 1 divided by 8. For I sub 3, the voltage difference across the 6 ohm resistor is V sub 1 minus the voltage on the other side. That voltage is set by the dependent source, which is 2 times V naught. So, I sub 3 is equal to V sub 1 minus 2 times V naught, divided by 6. Now we substitute these expressions back into our KCL equation. This gives us 12 minus V sub 1 divided by 3 equals V sub 1 divided by 8 plus V sub 1 minus 2 times V naught divided by 6. This equation has two unknown variables, V sub 1 and V naught. We need a second equation to relate them. Let's look at how V naught is defined. It's the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor. This means V0 is the voltage on the left side minus the voltage on the right side. The voltage on the left is 12 volts. The voltage on the right is V sub 1. So, our second equation is V0 equals 12 minus V sub 1. Now we can solve the system. We will substitute our expression for V0 into our main KCL equation. The main equation is 12 minus V sub 1 over 3 equals V sub 1 over 8 plus V sub 1 minus 2 times V naught over 6. Let's split the fractions to make it easier to see. For minus V sub 1 over 3 equals V sub 1 over 8 plus V sub 1 over 6 minus V naught over 3. Now, substitute V naught equals 12 minus V sub 1 into this equation. For minus V sub 1 over 3 equals V sub 1 over 8 plus V sub 1 over 6 minus 12 minus V sub 1 
divided by 3. Let's expand the last term on the right. For minus, v sub 1 over 3, equals, v sub 1 over 8, plus, v sub 1 over 6, minus 4 plus, v sub 1 over 3. Now, we gather all the terms with v sub 1 on one side and all the constant numbers on the other. Let's move the minus 4 from the right side to the left, and the minus, v sub 1 over 3, from the left to the right. 4 plus 4 equals, v sub 1 over 8, plus, v sub 1 over 6, plus, v sub 1 over 3, plus, v sub 1 over 3. This simplifies to, 8 equals, v sub 1 over 8, plus, v sub 1 over 6, plus, 2 times v sub 1 over 3. To combine the fractions on the right, we need a common denominator, which is 24. So, 8 equals, 3 times v sub 1 over 24, plus, 4 times v sub 1 over 24, plus, 16 times v sub 1 over 24. Adding the numerators, we get, 8 equals, 23 times v sub 1, divided by 24. To find v sub 1, we multiply both sides by 24 and divide by 23. v sub 1 equals, 8 times 24, divided by 23. v sub 1 equals 192 divided by 23. Calculating this gives us v sub 1 is approximately 8.347 volts. We're almost there. The question asked for v naught. We use our second equation, v naught equals 12 minus v sub 1. Substituting the value we just found. v naught equals 12 minus 8.347. This gives us our final answer. V naught equals 3.653 volts. The solution in the image shows 3.652 volts, which is a minor difference due to rounding. So, the voltage V naught across the 3 ohm resistor is 3.652 volts. To recap, we solve this by using nodal analysis, applying Kirchhoff's current law, using Ohm's law to define the currents, creating a second equation for the dependent source, and finally, solving the algebra. Thank you for watching.